racing from that 1200 meter marker. We'll have to give them a chance to settle down. There's a few that want to be on speed. And Cool Runnings is one of the first to win that speed battle with Sir Neil Longsword up there. Jackson, Mississippi is not too far off them. Then we drop back to Persistence, only three or four lengths off the leader. Warbonnet Creek is trying to get into a better position. Then comes Granddaddy Purple. Further back in running, you're going to find Il Lungo's hidden away first call. On the outside of that is Charlie Malone, who's got the cup blue with the blue cap. As we drop back in the field, ready to fly, drop of time. Further back in running is Russian Empire. Then comes Clapper Thunder, who's 10 lengths off the leader. On the road again, spot that one near the back end of the field with Wheel Chommies. They homeward bound and Cool Runnings. Lugs to the inside, just got the call. Jackson, Mississippi. Persistence down the centre's a big runner. Then comes Charlie Malone, who's starting to run on strongly. Charlie Malone, Jackson, Mississippi. On the inside is Clapper Thunder, who's absolutely taking off. Clapper Thunder is going to come late and grab them all. Clapper Thunder, I believe, won it. Persistence runner Cracker, Charlie Malone, Jackson, Mississippi, and Sernia Longsort. And uh, tried to stay on. There was a mad scramble up in the lead. You can see Cool Runnings has basically stopped to a walk. So have a look at the head-on replay. Clapper Thunder to the inside, eating up the ground, hand over fist. Stick in the left hand. Well done to Cliffy Miller. A big well done to Miss H.J. Reddy, to Mrs. W.G.C. Miller and N.J. Paddock. Congratulations. They'll get the money in the lucky last to beat Persistence. Then came Charlie Malone and uh, Jackson, Mississippi, a decent run in fourth. All right, so I'm going to hand you back to the studio. Thanks to everybody. We'll chat from Turfentain tomorrow. Be safe. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the rugby. Go the Bocca. Good night. Welcome back in the final event this afternoon. Cliffy Miller keeps the best for last. Clap of thunder. Now it's getting dark and doomy out here. We haven't seen any lightning or thunder at the moment, but clap of thunder wins. Pumi, top ride as well. A very competitive race. And well done to Max. He's going to get the one and a half thousand rand. He's gone with the horse at the moment. And he gets one and a half thousand rand courtesy of World Sports Betting. And we do say thank you so much on behalf of the racing and the grooms out there as well. Pumi, well done to you. Clap of thunder on paper. Horses holding form. Been there, thereabouts. Thank you so much, Neil. Um, as you just mentioned, that the horse has been holding its form on paper. And, uh, you know, firstly, I would like to thank Mr. Miller for the ride and Nicholas as well. You know, they've been doing so much back at home. And uh, big ups to Mr. Miller. You know, he gave me a lot of confidence in the ring. He told me, you know, I mustn't just rush him, I mustn't panic. Even though the draw is uh, out of my hand, you know, we drawn very wide. I'm, he just left it in my hand. He said, I'll leave it to you. You know, the horse and you've been working it the whole week. And, uh, you know, he made it easy. Um, he came out well, everybody chased on my inside, I just managed, managed to just tuck him in wherever I can. And turning for home with that headwind as well, I knew that if I just take my time at the end, I know I'll probably get them at the end. And you know, he quickened well. Now when you say you're working in the week, so when you're not riding elsewhere, do you make your way here and you do a bit of work here at the stables? Um, to be honest, I've been in PE since I got back from Ireland. Okay. Because at the moment, you know, it's the only centre that's actually supporting me, you know, giving me a lot okay. of support. So, so, so um, when you travel, you're travelling elsewhere basically from PE? But... Normally I'll probably go to Durban, okay. but at the moment it's very hard for me to yeah. get a job in Durban. But, okay. you know, we're ticking away, hopefully something opens. And if the phone rings, you have a saddle, you will travel? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, so uh, big thanks to Mr. Miller, to the owners as well. Well done to them. Um, it's a nice way to close the last race in, at Fairview. And also this winner, I would like to dedicate it to my mother. Um, you know, she's in hospital. She, had, she got admitted yesterday. Okay. Um, I just received the news this morning, and I just hope that she feels better. All right, well, she'll be in our prayers. All the best to your mama and you, Pumi. Thank you so much. Okay, Pumi Majorca in the winner's box. And I didn't even know that he's staying here at the moment. So let's go to Cliffy Miller. He's going to come into picture now, and he's the winning trainer. And Nicholas is standing by there as well. He's going to come into picture as well because Heather, she's the boss. She's in, she's in charge. She's got the partnership as well. She owns with the man second in charge, and then obviously Nicholas as well, part third, of it. Third in charge. Third in charge. So well done to you. The boss will be happy. 
Oh, she's ecstatic, very ecstatic. Has the phone know, been yeah. ringing and she wants to chop? Oh, oh, definitely, you know, and you know nearly at least the petrol money when I go back to Kimberley again, you know. Yeah, you've got you. It's not yeah. cheap anymore. No, definitely not. I'm going to say well done to Heather, well done to um, Nick, and um, also to Pumi. Pumi told us in a week, last week already, he wants to ride this horse, and he, he was very bullish, and he said he, he will not get beat on this horse. You know? All and, right. Uh, I promised him a lot of things this morning when I saw um, that... His other stables got horses in this race as well, you know, so I promised him a lot of things, you know. And first of all, I, I'd like to dedicate this to Uncle Barry Steele. Yeah, I was going to ask you now, that's why I'm standing and, next you know, to you. Yeah, yeah. because I've, I, I knew Uncle Barry for many, many years, you know, from Kimberley days even, you know, and um, Arlington days. And, you know, that's one man in your life you would never look for trouble with because he's one of the strongest men I ever knew in my life. And he was a gentle giant He was a lovely, time. lovely yeah. person. Seriously, a very nice person. And it was sad to listen and, and to hear from his past, you know, about yeah, his past. So we think so of, seriously, we yeah, so we think of of June back home. We're thinking of you from the racing fraternity. The jockeys today with their black arm bags as well. And uh, I knew him from way back when I was still in Cape Town in those days. I uh, actually sent one, a family friend of mine to own a horse with him. And he was always so entertaining. And he yes, loved the me. horses. Yeah, put the horses that. first yeah. always. And uh, we're thinking of the entire family. And uh, it's a difficult time, but we love yeah. Uncle Barry. Yeah, definitely. And um, uh, before I end over to Nick, you don't have to play Fuiki Fuiki when you do interviews, OK? Oh, OK. It's my size 12s that are knocking his little, what's it, size 4 there. Yeah, they, they, don't, they make them small in Kimberley. Let's get Nicholas here in the picture. <laughs> you can't take him anywhere, no, can you? No. <laughs> well, apart from learning the ropes and learning from a top horseman like him, you obviously got to learn to have a bit of a sense of humour in the Cliffy Miller stable. Yeah, no, there's, uh, there's always jokes and jabs <laughs> happening, so if you don't have thick skin, you're not, not in the right place, I'll tell you what. But you've learned a lot. We've touched on you in, in the past as well. You're part owner. Yeah, I do see that you have shares every now and, the horses, now and then in the horses in the stable. Yeah, I know. Whenever we get one on like a little lease and that, you know, uh, Cliffy and Heather always let me in on one or two. We've had a bit of luck. I think we've had uh, Clapper Thunders now one tw uh, twice for us. We've had you crack me up. and yeah. So it's been, it's been a good run of things at the moment. It's always nice. And uh, a couple of the maidens, you know, they pop up. You always yeah. love those extra 15 granders as well. Tremendous. Well done to you. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. Well done to Nick. And yeah, he's the man that often speaks to Nadine in the week when she does her interviews. Very transparent, the Cliffy Miller stable. And so it should be from all the stables in the industry. But from myself, Neil Pretorius, it's been a great day. The weather's changed completely. And obviously from Nadine joining me this afternoon, we work well as a team. We love working together as well. The camera crew downstairs in the production side as well. The guys sitting in the towers with the cameras. I don't know how they held onto those cameras this afternoon. And our on-course photographer, Pauline Herman. If you want to get photos of any events, you contact her as well. She does the photos for racing here in the Eastern Cape. We'll see you next Friday.